Welcome to Managing Information Tunes. Episode 3 Information in my world. Who's responsible for what? Sam is new. She is unsure what to do with some of the files she's been using. I have been working here a couple of weeks now, and have files and emails that I want to address. I'm not sure which ones I keep, which I can delete, or if I'm even responsible for keeping any of the work-related ones at all. She asked her friend Julie for help. I'm glad you asked for my help instead of just letting them pile up, or worse, just deleting a bunch without knowing if they are important or not. I remember from our conversation in the break room when I started, you mentioned ESDC now has to properly manage our information, so I thought this is a good time to start. It's an excellent time to start, and that way, you won't develop any bad habits either. Before we talk about specific types of files, we need to discuss roles and responsibilities. Sure. Roles and responsibilities, for what? For managing information there are different roles and responsibilities for employees and managers. First, let's talk about your responsibility as an employee. You are responsible to manage information you create and or receive in the course of your daily activities. There are Government of Canada and Departmental Policies, Standards and Guidelines that outline how you need to do that. There are also a lot of documented best practices that will help you know what to keep, what to delete, what to share, and who to share it with. Okay. But how does that differ from my manager's responsibilities? Managers have the same basic responsibilities as every employee, but their role is more involved. They are responsible for ensuring their employees manage information as an integral part of program and service delivery. Don't forget, our information can be a strategic business resource. Managers also make sure work activities and decisions are documented, and that information is shared with those who need it, while respecting sensitivity and privacy concerns. Your manager can help you understand who owns the information you generate or receive, and this will help you know if you need to keep it or chuck it. It's important we use the departmentally approved method to develop, share, and organize our information. That includes making sure we classify our documents and assign the proper descriptors to be sure information is disposed of in the proper timeline, and information of business value is protected and retained. It is the manager's job to be sure their employees know where and how we will store, retain, or delete information within ESDC. So their role is much more involved than mine. Okay, tell me again about my responsibilities. As an information creator, you are responsible for managing the information you collect or create. You can learn more about this on iService. There are also some helpful videos on managing information as well. Have a look, and after, if you have more questions we can chat some more. Thanks, I'll bring up the iService site now and learn more about my responsibilities. Information. Hours to manage.